Hey everyone and welcome back to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. In this video, we'll be answering the age old question, electric heating, is it really 100% efficient? As usual, we're gonna chop this video up into sections, starting with, is electric heating 100% efficient? Then looking at the problems with how electricity is made, before finally asking whether all electric heaters have the same efficiency, with a particular focus on convection heaters, electric radiators, and infrared heaters. So before we jump in, please remember to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and ring that notification bell. First up, let's answer the title of the video. Is electric heating really 100% efficient? Well, in short, yes, it is. But what does that even really mean? Well, let me explain. 100% efficiency basically means that every watt of energy drawn from the plug socket is converted into heat that is used solely to warm your home. So absolutely nothing is wasted. This means that when it comes to energy bills, you know exactly where your money is going. To put this into context, let's take a moment to compare electric to gas central heating. Now, I'm sure it's no surprise to you that gas is by no means 100% efficient. Far from it, really. You see, gas experiences lots of system losses through the process of combustion. Now, as the two byproducts of combustion are carbon carbon dioxide and water vapour, only a small percentage of energy is actually turned into warmth, whilst the rest sadly goes to waste. And that's not all. We all know that gas central heating uses a pipe system to transfer warmth, but that's where up to 50% of heat is lost, especially if the pipes aren't well insulated, so not ideal to say the least. Now that that's settled, let's move on to our next question. What makes electric heating so efficient? Well, electric heaters don't have to contend with as many problems as gas does. I suppose the main thing that makes electric heaters so efficient is that they don't need to combust any fuel to generate warmth. So those heat losses I described just don't come into play with electric. Plus, these radiators don't need a pipe network. All you have to do is plug them into a standard socket which totally eliminates all the typical losses incurred during a pipe system. Add all these factors together and what do you get? A super efficient heating system. Now, we do have to address the elephant in the room and yeah, you guessed it, the problems with how electricity is made. And whilst huge advancements in engineering sustainable energy systems have been made, we can't ignore the fact that we are still a way off eliminating traditional sources completely. Whilst electric heating is definitely 100% efficient from the moment you plug it in, the same can't be said for when you look at the process as a whole. You see, power stations have to burn fuel to provide energy, creating the same issues as gas. But it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, there's a pretty easy solution to this. You can either use a clean green energy provider, and there are many of them out there, or pair your electric heating system with a renewable energy source like solar panels on your roof, for example. By doing either one of these things, electric heating will be carbon neutral from start to finish. Amazing. Moving on to our next and final question, are all electric heaters the same in terms of efficiency? This is a great question because electric heating is quite a broad area, so it's important that I break it down a little. So let's start with the heaters that do offer 100% efficiency. And the winners are... Electric radiators and infrared panel heaters. Okay, but why is that and what makes them so efficient? Well, both of these heating solutions use radiation to warm a space. And this means that people, objects and surfaces absorb the warmth generated by the heaters before re-radiating it back into the room, resulting in a deeper level of heat that's robust and long lasting. Infrared heaters use 100% radiant warmth whilst most electric radiators use one-third radiant warmth and the rest is supplied through convection, which also warms the surrounding air just like a gas radiator. Besides the promise of no energy being wasted, both of these solutions often have low wattages, which means less power usage. This makes them ideal for permanent use in spaces like your living room, kitchen and bedroom. Plus, many of these heaters come with Wi-Fi app control and intuitive precise digital thermostats, making them super easy to operate, so managing your energy usage has never been simpler. So all in all, these solutions are the best choice if you're looking for premium efficiency. 
The same can't be said for convection heaters. You see, these heaters work by warming the air as it passes through the appliance and then pushing that heated air back out into the room. And the main problem here is that this warm air is usually lost to open windows and doors, so the convector heater has to continuously top up the warmth in the room for you to feel the benefit. This reduces their efficiency and can increase running costs. And because they need more power to heat the room, they often come with higher wattages compared to electric radiators and infrared heaters, which is something that can cost you over time. That's why it's best to avoid using convection heaters as a primary heating system. Keep them reserved for spaces like your garage or garden office instead. So there we have it. What questions should we answer next? We'd love to hear from you. So please be sure to tell us what topics you want us to cover in the comment section. And remember to hit those all important like and subscribe buttons. See you soon.